So as a lot of you know, I've been in the beauty space for about since around 2011 2012 and one of the strategies that I use to grow my business is the use of email marketing so in this video I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can grow your beauty brand with email marketing Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Miss La, and on this channel, Utopedia, we talk about things in regards to beauty, business, and motivation. So for today's video, I'm gonna be telling you some tips and tricks I use to um, grow my business by using email marketing for my beauty brand. And one of the things of why, or one of the reasons why I wanted to get into beauty besides um, I want to look good, I want to make other people look good, and I want to make them feel good about themselves, I am into scents. Oh my God, I, I used to work at, or whatever, I worked at a retail big box location and I worked in the beauty department and when I did that I used to always go in and spray things like the Dolce & Gabbana, the Gucci, the Ralph Lauren, all those different kind of scents because I love to smell good and a company reached out to me and they're called and if I mispronounce this I'm so 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 sorry but it's pronounced I think Dossier and this is it. So they reached out to me and they sent me a couple or a sample of their product. So this is the dossier box and then you open it up and there it is. And it says iconic scents, designer quality, no markups. And we like that. Anytime you can get some with the designer smell and it's not a designer price, we like that. So it has this cute little card in it. This is it. And like I said, I think it's pronounced dossier. There it is right there. So on the card, I chose the scent that's the equivalent to the, I think it's pronounced Victor and Rolf. I think that's how you say it, flower bomb. So I chose a scent that's close to the flower bomb. So on the card, um, it's called the Garmand white flowers that's their name for it and then it'll on this card it talks about the notes that are in it so you got your top notes your middle notes and then it says who it's inspired by which is the flower bomb and then it says there's a cute little thank you it says our mission is to deliver the highest quality luxury inspired fragrances at a fair price giving you the freedom to explore new scents thank you for giving us a try and then it says how it works so this is how dossier works so it says your dossier order has arrived and now it's time to test out your new perfume. And it says, do you love the smell? And of course you will. And it says, how does it feel on your skin? And then if you're not in love, you can always return the bottle and then it has the instructions for returning it. We've got you covered. So pretty much hassle free. So once again, let me just turn this around. So this is it, very cute packaging, very cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out because I couldn't wait. I've already sampled it. But this is the bottle. Hopefully you guys can see that. That's the bottle. And then let's see, this is a 1.7 full ounce. So you get a 1.7 full ounce. And I will link all the information and there will be um, a coupon code. If I have one, I will link that as well for the company. But yeah, this is a pretty big bottle for the size. Like I said, this is a perfume, I do believe. Yeah, so perfumes, and I just know a little bit about this because I used to work in a beauty section, but perfumes will last a little bit longer. So here, let's go. I'm just gonna smell it. It smells so good. So yeah, I really like this. Good choice. So, like I said, I will link all the information to the company in the description box. And this is it. I'll just put it back so you all can kind of see. So go check them out. If there's a coupon code, I will leave it. And there it is. So now let's get into the video. Now, if you have not already started or you're thinking about starting um, an email list 
or thinking of ways to capture emails, I would highly encourage it because I do advertise on Facebook, I advertise on Google and Bing, but especially with Facebook, at any time they can disable your account, they can ban you. So what you do want to do is find a strategy now to get people to sign up for your email list. So if anything were to happen and it gets disabled or you lose that because you're on a certain platform, you will have your own contacts in your email list. Um, it's very easy to do. Um, one of the strategies that works for me is I have a little pop-up box when you go to my website. So when you go to the website, you can put in your email list. So that's easy peasy. And for the most part, I do get people to sign up for it. I generally, we'll give like a coupon or a percentage off for them sharing their email with me. If you're using Shopify, um, what are some other ones? Um, Wix. Um, they should have it where you can put um, as soon as somebody comes to your website either at the bottom or as a pop-up you can ask for the email list and you really want to do that immediately so before people start to click around your website so check out like I said it will either be at the bottom that you can put it or you can put it at as a pop-up I like the pop-up um, I have Shopify and I use Shopify for my beauty brand and then I use Square for my lash studio but either either one there is a pop-up box that comes there on the Shopify site for my skincare and my makeup brand Crave Cosmetics I do have or I use a company called Privy and that's P-R-I-V-Y they have a really good system and some amazing customer service so if you have not looked at a company on shopify because they have all those apps you can ch choose from look at privy and then how it works is people um, will sign up through the pop-up box that comes up as soon as they come to the site and then it links in with my mailchimp so once again if anything happens then i have it on the mailchimp side all my contacts and it's really really easy to sync shopify has um, a really good system in place um, syncing with the apps so if you're on shopify look at privy and then also look at mailchimp so before I get into my other tips to grow your email list, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell so you don't miss any of the content that I post. And lastly, hit the like button. It helps in the algorithm. If you're like me, I generally will schedule my post out for the week. Um, usually I'll do it like a week in advance so I don't have to worry about it the following week. So if you're like me and you schedule your post or just in when you're posting in general, you do want to make one or two posts in a week's time about your email list. So that way people will know that you have it. And then also in your post, share what you offer in exchange for them sharing your email list. For me, um, percentages have worked well. I do dollars off, but I think, I feel like I do more dollars off like at the holidays. So for the majority of the year, I do a percentage off. So um, you do wanna make one or two posts about your email list. And then if you're on Facebook, of course, when you're making the post, you can put a link in the post to where your um, email list is located for them to sign up. And then if you post it like on Twitter, you can put the link in as well. And on Instagram, there is something called, it's Flow Page. Check out Flow Page because if you use Flow Page, then you can set up your own account in any place where people can find you on social media. They can just click on that one link in your bio and they can sign up for your email list and find you any other place you're on social media. Just this past year, I found after looking at different people on Fiverr, and if you have not seen my video about Fiverr, go check it out. I will leave a link in the description box great tips but anyway I just found somebody on Fiverr to do a sales funnel for me now I really didn't have a sales funnel in place I would try my best to reach out to people who signed up for my list at least once maybe twice especially if I'm running a sale throughout the month 
but just recently I implemented a sales funnel and it's working. I know when you think sales funnel, like it can be kind of intimidating, but just do the basics. Like I have it where, of course, they get the first email when they sign up for the list. Then if they've looked at a product, then they get um, timed emails after that. So there's one like every 24 hours if they didn't purchase, then I bump up the discount to get them to buy. Then after that, it goes into every 48 hours. If they don't purchase, then I bump up again to get them to buy. And then there's the final one with a really good discount to encourage them to buy. Usually it doesn't make it that far. Usually about the first or second um, sales funnel they purchase, but you do want to consider um, getting a sales funnel or having someone create that for you. The sales funnel I have um, is link to my MailChimp. So once again, I've captured their email list and then they go through a sales funnel to get them to buy. So I know it's um, early to start thinking about it, but you really wanna put this in place at your busy holiday season or your busy seasons, like the holidays, back to school, um, Mother's Day, Father's Day, you know, your top selling seasons, you do wanna have a sales funnel in place because there's some good opportunities for you to capture your leads and then to sell to them throughout the year. Now, after you've gotten the people to, or your potential customers or clients to sign up for your email list, it's important that you communicate with them. Now, I will admit, I was, I got into a situation where I wasn't doing that as often, but now I at least do one or two a month. I try not to let it go past the 30 day point because they can forget about you or you know just whatever happens and I get it life happens it happens for me but you do want to at least schedule something out if you think hey I'm gonna be busy let me just go ahead and schedule something they can post two three weeks in it two three weeks out then that's fine but you do want to communicate things like what you're up to a new product that you have or familiarize them with the product that you already have that they may have seen. You do want to communicate that by email. So make sure you're scheduling in addition to your sales funnels. You're trying to communicate with the people who are on your list at least once or twice a month. So my question for you is, if you have an email list, what are some tips that you use to grow your email list? Let me know in the comments. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also hit the like button. Also hit the bell so you get notification of when I do post. I do post new content as often as I can and you don't wanna miss any tips, tricks that I have for you to grow your beauty business and to put your ideas out into the universe. Have a great day, guys. Bye.